are with another episode of White Kelp Wednesday, and I'm honored to have my good friend, Gene Frederick, with EXP. Gene, how are you doing today, buddy? Doing good, my friend, Robert. How have you been? You know what? We're having uh, so much fun. It's, it's uh, give me your quote, bringing fun back to real estate. Give me that quote again. Well, you know, it was six years ago and when I made the move over to EXP from being 21 years at KW and 10 years at Remax before that, I said, let's just make real estate fun again. And, and you know, and it really has been a, one of my things. Actually, every office that I've ran for KW, every single region office, I've actually made that one of my five rules. My, my fifth rule is always we're going to have more fun than anybody else on earth. And I don't know about you, but we went through some tough times. 08, 9, 10, 11. Sure. We didn't come out of it till 12. And of course, now for the people that haven't been in real estate before 2012, they just think it's awesome. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But before that, and, and, you know, there's a lot of people that have struggled with uh, realtors have a hard time saving money. Realtors have a hard time paying their taxes. Uh, realtors, in fact, are expert at not paying their taxes. I was going <laughs> Because yeah. we're like, we're the worst, right? Yeah. Because we make so much money and then we don't save enough and pay our taxes first. Yeah. So, so we're bringing back, bringing real estate, making it fun again. And then yeah. that's really, that's awesome. And we've, we, we've had chimed us. We spent some time in Cabo. We spent some time in, uh, in Scottsdale. We've, we've, we've got a chance to really get to know each other and just our whole one team, one dream attitude is just, it is goosebumps. I mean, it's, it's just amazing. It's a, it's a real thing. Yeah. And, and it's, it's amazing that, that folks that, uh, that I sit down and talk to, we network all over the country. We help each other grow our business. Even if we're not even on the same team, technically like the traditional team, we're all here to help each other. And it's just, it just blows my mind, the one team, one dream method. So my question to you is, what are some, what are some of the most powerful tidbits we'd like to add? Let's name it the three top things that you'd like to share with agents that are watching this right now. Well, number one, you have a you you have a you have a real estate company that we've made it our mission to have fun, right? For anybody that's never heard of EXP before, I mean, we're selling real estate just like you're going to sell real estate at any other company. When I say that, we have buyers, we have sellers, we have foreclosures, we have uh, ranches, we sell commercial buildings. The selling of real estate is always going to be there no matter what real estate company you join. The thing is, what we're making it fun again is because we brought two things into it that nobody else has. We have stock in our company. And you mentioned it, Robert, when you started off, that you have never been in a company that we've helped each other so much. Why? Because we all own stock together. That's a very common thing. You know, during this pandemic, I don't know about all you guys, but um, if you were going to Costco like I was, once every couple of weeks and stocking up. If you own Coca-Cola stock, how much Pepsi did you buy during COVID? None. Yeah, no. Ownership's everything. If you, and, and when we brought it into real estate, when I met Glenn Sanford in uh, 2014 and he said, hey, I started a corporation. I said, tell me about that. He says, there's stock. I said, wait, wait, wait. We all get stock, just agents. I mean, we don't have to buy a franchise. We don't have to start our own office, do all the things I did with other companies, right? He goes, yeah. And I said, if that is real, Glenn, you have changed the real estate industry forever. Because and I knew, is, yep. yeah. Don't you that think is. so? Because I think agents haven't had any equity in their lives. Mm -hmm. There's nothing. They sell for 10 years in a different company and they wake up and they go, well, I'm only as good as my last sale. Yeah. You know, what's interesting is we, we have traveled the same real estate path, used to own a Remax, a couple of them, uh, went into Keller Williams, both, both great companies, both, both great companies. Yep. But you mentioned yep. that when, when Glenn introduced you to the new way real estate is going to be done by, by have companies stop. I mean, that's, that's a huge tool. Um, it, it's a game changer. I mean, it's just absolutely a game changer in this industry. It's not been done. Well, the other thing you mentioned, you want me to tell me a little bit of my story. I mean, yeah. I am not a renaissance man. I just know real estate. I'm sorry. This is it. I've raised five kids and now I've got nine grandkids. Um, it, it's just my gig. So I really like real estate agents. I mean, we are true entrepreneurs. I mean, we are not, we don't have a quota from a company as a salesperson. I mean, we're only as good as our last sale. And I know sure. I've sold real estate for a long time. Well, when I met Glenn, he says, Gene, we're going to do this without bricks and mortar. 
And he showed me our Verbella system. And he showed me the way that we could actually run a national, international company with no bricks and mortar. I went, dude, I am in. Because I knew agents, Robert, weren't coming in for years anyway. They weren't, I was running one of the largest offices for KW at the time. I had 650 agents. Nobody was coming in. I never saw agents every day. And that was 2012, 13, 14. So when I talked to Glenn, he goes, well, I, I knew we could do it. I just didn't know the vehicle we could do it. So what I'm imagining is it's happened. What COVID did for everybody is, as you know, most people aren't going back to work. Even if they're not in real estate, they're not going back to an office, yeah. period. So um, I'm, I'm just very excited that Glenn, when I met Glenn at the right time in my life, where I'd been in real estate really 30 years. And then I said, what's the next thing? Where are we going? Where's this industry going? I know it's going virtual. I just didn't know how it was going to go virtual. Wow. Okay. Number, number two, where's my, where's my ownership? Like you, I was at Remax in the 80s. Uh, I, I made Dave Leninger a billionaire. But Dave Leninger didn't give me, if he would have given me stock in 1986, I'd still be there. Sure. Right. I always say Gary Keller loved the man. If he would have given me stock in 1994 when Susan and I joined KW, still be there. I mean, I'd still be at KW. Sure. And then finally, I found a company where they're going to they're we're going to give stock to every single agent that wants it. I'm going, oh, this is brilliant. Uh, this is what agents have always wanted, not necessarily the owners. Right. Which is the old model. The old fashioned models, the owners make all the decisions for the agents. This one, the agents are the owners. And, and that's the hardest thing for me to get across to folks is this is a brand new. We're not we're not thinking outside the box. We're a whole new box. Yeah. <laughs> right. We're a whole new circle. Let's put it that way. We're not even a box. We're just a circle over here because we're doing real estate like we've always done. But it's benefiting the real estate agent at such a high level through stock and revenue share. Yeah. You know what? It's, it's, it's the stock, the revenue share, the, the ability to do that is no brick and mortar, you know, the, you know, really minimizing our expenses, being smart with the way we spend money. You know, that's key. And the ownership that we all have, and that's where the one team, one dream comes in. We are all one family. And it's just, it's amazing. Let me ask you this, because you have so many great, great nuggets to share with the audience that are watching this. What would you like to say to the agent that maybe hasn't made that switch yet, that maybe hasn't, it's just kind of right there on the fence. What would you like to say to them? Well, uh, just this, that don't, don't, uh, don't fear risk. I mean, my gosh, at one point in your life, you quit a normal job. I mean, I used to work in the corporate world and we went into real estate where it was a hundred percent commission. I mean, I'm telling you, that takes a lot of guts. Sure. It takes a lot of guts for almost everybody in the, in, in, that's listening to this, realtors. I mean, we're true, self-employed, 100% commission. Well, why do you get comfortable wherever brokerage you're at and not look at what's going to happen in the future? Just give us a chance. Call Robert. Call anybody. Call your friend and say, hey, really show me that new wave of real estate that's going to happen because this is going to happen. Uh, all companies within 5, 10 years are going to be virtual. Now, yeah. they all might not give stock and rev share because if the owners want to keep the money, Robert, right? If the owners want to keep the money off the top, they'll keep their same models. Sure. With us, and Glenn and I think just like this together, when he says, Gene, we're going to split 50% of the company dollar coming in, 50%, and give it back to the agents that help us grow. That's called revenue share. Oh, my gosh. You know, I got to tell you the story, Robert. I had, I had my, uh, my stockbroker from UBS calls me the other day and he goes, man, explain to me this model. Why is it working so well? Everything you've said the last three years I've been with you has come true. I said, well, just imagine you at UBS, all you stockbrokers got paid part of the money if you got another stockbroker to join UBS, but you got part of their money off the top that goes to the UBS as, as a thank you for getting that stock broker over. He goes, that'd be cool. And I said, that's us. That's that us. Is, I mean, that, you know, it could, it could go into other industries. Why wouldn't it? It's called revenue share. It's not illegal. We're just, we're just rewarding the people that help us grow. Yeah. Well, you know what? I tell you what, it's, uh, it's been one of the most amazing things I've ever been a part of uh, in my 35 year real estate career. I've never have been a afforded this opportunity and that's why I, I wanted to get you on the phone 
get you on the call and share your story because I tell you, there's so many stories and it's just, it's changing lives. It's changing lives across the world. And uh, I really appreciate you jumping on. I know you're busy and I really thank you so much for spending the time with me and sharing your story. Gene, I appreciate you. And I'll tell you what, I can't wait to see you again, my friend. Well, I'll see you in a couple of weeks, my friend in uh, Denver at our sprint event. And yep. uh, Robert, you're just like me. We've been in the business too long not to recognize when a really good situation comes up. And Amen to that, we, brother. That's why we reacted. So take Amen. care, my friend. See you, you soon. Talk to you later, buddy. 